hello and welcome again to my video about ABAP tutorial for this time we will discuss about how to create SAP FI validation by using exits for example we create a new FI document by using transaction code FB01 we fill the required field of header and then we insert the first line item and the amount is for example 500 we fill profit center field and then we insert the second line item and then we fill mon field and then after that we simulate okay there is no error and then we post the accounting document okay the accounting document is posted and then we display the document For example, we will create a validation when creating FI document. If document type is DZ and then the posting key is 40, the text field must be filled with at least 5 characters. How to create FI validation? There are several steps. The first step is we go to transaction code ZCX2. Because we want to create validation by using above exit, so we have to know the program name for storing the exit. For FI validation, is the very top one, and the program name is ZR. GGBR000. In your SAP server, the program name may be different, but if it is still SAP standard program or RGGBR000, you have to copy to customer namespace because we will modify the program. And then after that, you can change exit program field with the program you have created or copied okay we go to the program exit we copy the name and then we open transaction code se80 we open the program and then we modify the program To create a new exit, first we have to create a new name. We copy from existing source codes. For example, the name is Z909. And then the title, for example, Exit Test. We save and activate first. And then we create a subroutine with the same name as exit name. We also copy from existing source codes. The name of subroutine is Z909. And then we delete unwanted source codes.
at the beginning of the subroutine we set the data object b underscore result to true and then we check the posting type must be 40 and then if field text is less than five characters we set the data object b underscore result become false Okay, we activate the program. Okay, we have done the first step of creating FI validation. And then the second step is create FI validation by using transaction code ZZB0. We go to financial accounting. And then because we want to make a validation based on item data, so we go to line item. There is already one FI validation. We can create a new validation or we just use existing. For now, we just use the existing validation. We create a new step. And then we create a prerequisite condition. This will determine when the validation is run. For the prerequisite condition, we want the document type of the accounting document is DZ. So we search the structure field B key PF dash blood. And then we double click. And then equal. And then the value is DZ. And then we go to check. In this area, we have to determine the condition to be checked that can return true or false and for this we have created exit so we go to tab exits and then we search the exit we have created Z909 and then we double click the exit and then after that we go to message in this area we have to determine the message to be displayed when the check condition return false first we determine the message class we can create a new message class or we can use existing for now we use existing we go to message class transaction code se91 we modify the message class And then we create a new message. With number 118. And then in the validation message, we fill the number. Please fill more than five characters to fill SGTXT. And then we save the message class. Okay, we have created the validation. 
The last step is to activate the validation by using transaction code OB28. We open the transaction code. In my SAP server, the validation record is already created, so I just activate by modifying activation level field to 1. In your SAP server, may be different if the record does not exist, so you have to create a new record by pressing new button. Okay, we save the setting. Okay, we have done all the steps for creating validation. Now we test. We create a new accounting document by using transaction code FB01. We insert the first line item. First, we leave blank the text and then we insert the second line item. The validation is run. Please fill more than five characters. Okay, we fix the text. We simulate and then we save the accounting document. Okay, the accounting document is posted. Okay, that's all how to create FI validation by using exit. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you.